Yo. Chat, we got it. We won. The Silent Heart rework has come out. And it's so peak. Oh my god, I love it. Yeah. In the history of Deep Woken, reworks have always been a real strange, like, topic. Because reworks in the general sense don't really happen. When I think of rework, I think of the core mechanics, the, the core idea being the same, just altered slightly. But that's not really how it goes in this game. Starting with the Wayward Gem, we were promised a Wayward Gem rework, and then months later, we got it. And it was just a nerf. And not like a slight nerf, a HARD nerf. They... And we found ways to play around it now with like, wind up, like long wind-ups, things like Eclipse Kick. But when the rework first came out, that kind of shit didn't exist. It was just a nerf. And then we got the Jet Striker, quote, rework, which was just a massive buff. Jet Striker is still the best oath in the game. They didn't really get rid of the mobility. They added two incredibly powerful mantras, especially Jet Kick. Not only is that a powerful mantra, but you can also use it for mobility. And now we have the Silent Heart rework. Honestly, I wouldn't... When I look at the Silent Heart rework, the first thing that comes to mind is that this was the core concept for Blade Harper, but they got into a time crunch and they're like, well, instead of making Blade Harper this, let's just scrap all of that and like throw something together real quick. Blade, Sil what we got, the Silent Heart rework, I feel is what Blade Harper was always supposed to be. I don't, the silence mechanic was like the biggest part of Silent Heart. Silence. Silent Heart. You silence the song, you know? Not having that as part of the kit is, it's ludicrous to me. Monikati, I mean, that's whatever. We do have a lot of cool mantras. I'm not, Silent Heart's reworked the way it is now. It is cool. I just, it, somehow, we got like two times the content. There is so much more diversity in playstyle, and yet it feels so much more shallow than what it was. The dread stacks, the silencing. It was simple. It left a lot to be desired, but it was unique. It, it, it met its niche. It gave you opportunities to play around it. Now it's like... It, it just feels like Blade Harper. This is just no attunement oath number four. Instead of Silent Heart, which, granted, if you're going Silent Heart, you would have to be no attunement. But it felt like its whole other thing. Like, there were no attunement builds, and then there were Silent Heart builds. And now with the rework, that sort of line is muddied together, and they're all just sort of one of the same. Flow state is cool. I like that you can swap between uh, weapons. Ha re the, like, lower requirement to equip weapons is cool. It, it, it just didn't really feel... I don't know. I don't know what I expected. Because th this felt like a whole new oath, opposed to reworking and building upon what already existed. And I'm positive by next Friday there's going to be so many ridiculous buffs to Silent Heart that it's going to be unplayable for the next week. Like, you can't even get on the game without getting slammed by a Silent Heart user. It's either... Or... The flip side of it is that they're going to nerf it, and it's just not, it's going to be in an even worse state than it already was. It just doesn't, ew, ew, ew. it doesn't make sense to me, man.